everyone, what's up? This is Simon from the Ionic Academy. And in this video, I will show you how to create an image gallery inside your Ionic 4 application with additional zoom functionality. So previously with Ionic 3, we sometimes used the Ion Scroll. Um, this is deprecated now, but we can actually use the Ion Slides element and with a little trick, we can get zoom functionality. So let's do this. I've already started the blank new app, just like always. And we will start with one additional page and let's call this uh, image model because we will have a um, gallery page inside home and then we will have an additional page on top of that uh, which we will display like a model and this page will look awesome. So let's run Ionic Surf in the background and uh, first of all we will have to edit our app module because we will display the image model as a modal page and we need to use the real page not just the string name uh, and therefore we have to add the image modal uh, image model page module there it is uh, to the app module imports so then it will be available inside um, our other page and we can display it as a modal view so maybe a bit bigger like a phone and then we can continue uh, with the home page i'll just work with this page uh, normally i create a new page but i think we're good here um, also um, make sure to copy in uh, three or more whatever images to your assets folder so let me do this so here we go uh, three images of nice uh, Ionic Academy courses. If you're not a member, make sure to check out ionicacademy.com, uh, which is my own platform for you to learn Ionic. Anyway, let's continue with the home page and the HTML. So we got the three files inside this folder. So let's create a gallery based on those files. And we will call this image gallery. And then in here, we start with Ion Slides. And we will also pass in some options which we can do like this so slider options and we will define them inside the view in a second inside the ion slides we have ion slide elements and we don't need to create any um, array inside the typescript file we can do it right here we're cool so let's do this one two three um, so this of course only works if the image names are one two three so maybe you need to change them or whatever and then simply go ahead with image source um, assets image yes image and then um, image dot jpeg or no png like this also on click uh, we want to open the modal page so we need to mark this as tappable and for the click functionality, we add open preview and pass the image. Uh, again, we just have those numbers. Normally you would have something um, that works maybe a bit more safe than just relying on the numbers. So there we go with the open preview. And we also need a constructor on this page. So we can import the modal controller. Uh, controller. Modal controller. Yeah that come on please and yeah, now the auto import is working i'm not sure why it works a second time anyway um inside this page uh, we also need to define our slider options and um, there are some options defined on the ionic page and also all the options on the official swiper api page so you can check them out and you see the structure how you need to create this and we will pick a few so in this page i will disable zoom on the slides so we can pass in zoom fall um, and then something i've used i think in another video as well a pretty cool feature slides per view so normally you have one slide per page and then the next page but if you turn this to 1.5 or 1.3 you will already see the second slide a bit inside the view and you get this cool effect and also then if you add centered slides 
um, the one slide will always be fixed in the middle and then you go ahead and have again the second one in the middle so um, this is a pretty cool effect that we can use so slides per view and centered slides also um, you can say something like space between so you could also do this with CSS but it also works like this um, talking about CSS let me bring in a short CSS so the ion slides element I just wanted to have them a bit more in the middle of the page um, with a nice background so you can identify and see the actual slides and also uh, the image has a slide padding at the top and bottom so it will be somewhere here on the page hopefully um, I think this should already work only the opening should uh, not exist yet but let's recompile this and um, we will take a look at the browser preview for now in the end we will also see it on a device and then cannot read to uppercase um, there should be no to uppercase in here uh, ion slide ng4 let image of one two three tappable um, please what's wrong with you reload homepage module line 11 um, sorry mm. ah, I think false to whatever everything's fine in here um, not really sure why it got the problem so let me fix this we don't have to pause the image I already found it um, I wanted to do this real quick and forgot the off of course so now it should hopefully reload in a second and then we see our ion slides uh, as you can see uh, maybe we remove the padding which looks a bit nicer in. so here we go the slide is centered and we see the start of the next slide so if we go ahead we see a slide on both sides and this one is still centered so we got uh, our image gallery working and now on click we want to uh, open the bigger preview of the image and also allow to uh, zoom in into the image so therefore we go back to the home page open preview and create a new model using the model controller create and then we pass in first of all the component so in here we use the real image model page and the import is added so that's why we had to add it to the app module as well and then we can also pass in some information to the model it's a bit different than with a new routing so there you only should pass some ideas in this case we can actually also um, pass an object or more information but anyway we just have the number for our image so it's not really a problem um, anything is now a promise so model present and then the view will be displayed so now we have to create our zoom view and therefore we go to the image model page the scss and the typescript file and then we can close the home page home uh, and home and app and everything can be closed so inside the image model page um, we first of all need access to the information that we passed to this page so we use the nav params for this and by using the nav params we can set the image of this page so image equals this dot nav params get and we call this value image so here we will get one two uh, three or whatever now, on this page we will also implement um, zoom functionality from code it works not 100% like I wish it would um, but anyway at least um, a slight chance that we can use some zooming from code also we should have a close button and to close it we import or inject the model controller again and there we go and this dot model controller dismiss to close the page again also uh, we need some slider options again and in this case we will add zoom so we could say zoom true um, this would be enough but actually we can also define another object in here uh, so this is what i found inside the uh, swiper api 
and in here we can say something like max ratio 5 so this is how big you can scale the image uh, perhaps we will test different uh, let's make it a bit smaller in the beginning and then we will see uh, how it looks uh, otherwise so finally our view um, actually we will call this full screen and we will not have our header bar because the header bar looks sometimes a bit out of place in those uh, full screen pages and we want to make the background a bit transparent and this full screen should look pretty nice so first of all let me bring in a bunch of buttons so um, these buttons we'll call close zoom with true and zoom with false to zoom in and out with a few icons and also uh, this class called uh, close fake so let me bring in the css it's most of the time not so interesting so uh, the close fake is an ion item and it has a white background so we don't want this um, therefore we override the css variable we make the icon a bit bigger and add some margin so it's not so completely at the top and then we also set the background to something that's a bit transparent so uh, as you can see whatever you want it's just an idea for a nice preview and also the ion slides hate if you don't set this i think the scrolling or the zooming will actually not work so uh, set this to something like this and then below all of this we can go ahead and add another ion slides element so this works pretty great for zooming and then options slider options and then um, ion slides so we just want one image in here and image uh, source equals assets image and then i think it was image dot png so you might think this is enough um, but actually it is not and now the important part comes which is adding another div class and then swiper zoom container so this is actually the magic if you put this around your image you will suddenly have a slide that you can zoom in so um, it's somewhere in the api documentation of the slider um, and it's actually pretty easy so let's see we open this and we see uh, the image again we can close it and now if i do a double tap i can actually zoom into this image and on a device it will even look a bit different but i will show you in a sec um, what we wanted to do finally is um, add from code zoom in and zoom out functionality and therefore we have to uh, use uh, angular view child and we will call this one the slider and then inside the image model page we add, add view child and then slider and also we need to add read element reference so otherwise it will not read the according uh, a dom element because ionic is using a shadow dom and otherwise you will just not get the right object in here so element reference and there we go and now this slider element you could uh, actually also use a uh, slide in here or slides i think um, but we just want the uh, real element reference and then inside the zoom um, we can get a reference to the uh, zooming slider object which is a bit deep down so it is in slider dot native element dot zoom so this is uh, also documented somewhere inside the api now we can simply say if we want to zoom in we say zoom dot in and otherwise we say zoom out so that's everything uh, simply getting the view child um, getting the real zoom object and then calling the functionality that is inside the documentation on this object so let's see if it works we go in we zoom in and of course it's not working uh, this dot slider native element dot swiper dot zoom so it's really deep down uh, we had to dive deep into the api documentation to find this and make it work but still i'm not 100 uh, yeah 
now it works we can go in we can zoom out zoom in zoom out and now the problem is that we can only zoom in full and zoom out full we cannot say zoom in to let's say two or three or whatever um, also I wanted to show you the other uh, zoom max ratio and there is actually no chance I uh, try to fix this somehow uh, set the scale or anything but nothing really worked so you see max ratio to 8 and we're a lot closer inside the image so out is still the same of course um, so let's pick something like this I don't know um, maybe you will find a way to do this definitely let me know if you found it uh, so I can add it to this tutorial otherwise it's still nice to actually have the functionality to zoom in and zoom out from code so let's finally take a look at this on the device so here's the app finally on my device and we see we still got the nice gallery view which looks uh, and works perfectly and now I can also um, I don't know if you see me somewhere um, pinch in to zoom so I don't only uh, have the double tap to zoom in and out I can actually do it like uh, I'm used to on iOS or Android with the controls and I can also zoom in and out at the top and still do everything that I want uh, perhaps we could make the page fixed so we don't have oh sorry about that um, this effect but anyway I think it's a great uh, zooming view already and I think uh, it works just as expected. So um, that's the end for today's quick win. If you want more quick wins, more training resources, just like the course you see on my right side, I think, uh, the migration compendium, you can join the ionicacademy.com, my own coding platform for you to help learning and everything Ionic and keep you updated about everything. So I'd love to see you inside. Of course, make sure to subscribe to this channel for the next videos that will follow and I'll catch you inside one of the next videos. So have a great day and take care.